So we start off with the base. If you've got the Q-Lick system, it needs to go up, but most other skis, everyone else, the base is to the bottom. So assemble the sides first. We use our countersunk bolts. They go in. Just a normal, because we're using nylock nuts at the bottom, just a normal washer and a normal nylock nut. So for the base, we use a normal bolt, just a, one of the bolts, a normal flat washer on the inside, and a nylock nut. Got our sides on like that. And now uh, put our front piece on. So the front piece has got a little nip here in the front. So that nip shows to the outside. Right in there. Same story. Just a normal bolt and a nail of nuts and a washer. So when you're done, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have six bolts at the bottom, holding the bases in. Okay, now we've done that. Now we're going to install all the other bolts. So they're fairly simple. They come in from the inside, and a nut sits on the outside. So the bolt goes in from the back because you'll see the back, the inside is countersunk, so it doesn't scratch your... Now this one, because it's a dome nut, it's not my lock, it gets a spring washer as well. So we put a normal washer on, we do the spring washer, and then we do the dome nut. Oh, flat washer, spring washer, dome nut. Okay, that's how it goes in. That is all of it same Now we go back and we tie them up. Okay. And that is your jerry can order, the same bolt. So this is a marine grade alloy that we make it out of. Um, I personally bend them all up. We've got cutouts in them. The, the cutouts are there for to reduce weight, but also we do live bait tanks. It goes inside so you can get to the fittings and stuff. Now this jerry can all can bolt onto any one of the boxes like you can on a triple bin a double bin you can bolt, bolt two single ones onto each other you can bolt a single onto a double they all bolt together they all modular so uh, with this one you can fit um, a 10 liter jerry can or a 20 liter jerry can into it 20 liter jerry can and you can all put a, a 10 litre jerry can into it. We do have feet for them. This is our feet. They've got angled holes in them so you can adjust the angle on your on your, your jerry can holder, your box. It, it, the feet goes onto the doubles, the singles and the triple boxes and the large bins. So you can adjust the angle or you can adjust the height. So it can go anything from that high to 150 more high. 
So it all depends on what you need. And you can go from 30 degrees up to almost 45. 20 degrees, 30 and 45 degrees, yeah. So they got a nice big flat surface on them. They're 50 more wide. You can go double up on them. And then you've got a 100 more carrying capacity. Um, that, that, that carries the weight. So um, I'm just going to do singles. I'll show you how we assemble them. Just go back to back in an L shaped form like okay? that. Just normal bolts, flat washer. These um, there's eight bolts and washers that goes with them. So when you receive them, there'll be eight bolts and that goes with them. Basically. And so you can assemble them. You can, like I said, you can adjust the height on them, whatever you need. So. That is your single jerry can holder. That's your feet. The jerry can holder will suit um, uh, Yamaha, Siru, Kawasaki, um, except the, the Q Link. It'll go onto the Q Link, but we've got a Q Link system. Um, uh, Fisky has got a, a Q Link that locks onto the Q Link. You can also use this without the Q-Link. Um, there's a way, we'll show you how to do it, but for now, this is how they, they go. And we... Um, we can hold it in. I'm Bob Zonko. 